Hey guys, this is Mopar Man 1978. I'm doing a video here late. This, worked on this this afternoon into the, about sunset here. Uh, I decided I wanted to go ahead and put some uh, resonators on the end of my exhaust pipes. Um, so what I did is I took, I got to clean these up. I took my existing echo tips and uh, cut them off with my Salzol. And I went to O'Reilly's and bought a, what is it, a uh, 24 inch section of, uh, I think it's two and a quarter inch pipe. Anyway, uh, I didn't use the end that's got the flared out section on it. I used the, uh, the regular section. Cut, I measured and cut it out. I also went to Walmart today and bought two packages of uh, these uh, steel wool it has the uh, fine stuff in the one side of the bag and then the really coarse stuff on the other it goes fine medium and coarse I used all the coarse stuff out of both of the bags and what I did was as I as you can see my drill press I got the step bit I went up from the bottom to the second level on this one I don't remember what the exact size it is but I uh, basically started on the pipe that's already that already got inside my uh, echo tips. I pretty much started a hole here, spaced it, started a hole and went all the way around. And then in between the two holes, I came over here, drilled another hole, and I spaced them out. Basically, by the time I got done, it's kind of like a tic-tac-toe pattern. But if you looked at it, it actually goes off at an angle like it swirls. Anyway, and then as I got down here, it, it even back out. Well, anyway, uh, wrapped steel wool because I watched the video on uh, YouTube years ago. I can't remember if it was uh, Jones exhaust or some Magnaflow exhaust or something, and it showed the machine or somebody wrapping that real coarse steel wool around the pipe that had all the little holes all through it. And then what they did is they took this stuff. I bought this at Walmart in the automotive section for doing fiberglass repair. It's the real coarse stuff they also use uh, in the uh, packing of the mufflers too. And then what you do is after you get all your steel wool put on, uh, you take this and you put it on here and you start rolling it. And you basically like you're rolling an oversized cigarette or a joint for some people or um, a big burrito. And you just got to make sure you wrap it real tight. And all I did is I folded it out and ran the full, cut the full length off. But anyway, uh, it added a little weight to this, not much. But as you can see, all the little holes I drilled through there with my drill press, it didn't take that long. Um, went pretty quick. Um, I got this inner lip here from off of the exhaust pipe itself. I'll weld this to the echo tip and then the new piece of pipe to this uh, exhaust pipe piece that's inside here so it's a solid unit all the way around and then if you come around over here let's see if i can put the uh, light on the camera here as you can see the fiberglass is already sandwiched all the way around the outside and then you can see the steel wool in there around and what I did was I set this up on edge and then just took a uh, real long straight edge screwdriver and basically went down in here and packed all this around down inside there's where on each end of this pipe I have a, a lip sticking out now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a, one of them short sections of uh, exhaust pipe connectors that they sell at O'Reilly's where it goes from like maybe like this size and then flares out real big um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece that matches the inner diameter but that also matches the same width as this pipe and cut the excess off and weld the seams up that way it's a sealed unit so only air is coming or I shouldn't say air the exhaust gases and the sounds coming only through this new section pipe and then uh, I didn't spend a lot of money today it's pretty you know 
used to what I got and then bought a couple cheap things from most of it was from Walmart. But anyway, put these back on. It also helped somewhat with that cackling sound that I got off the mufflers a little bit. Not bad, but kind of muffle it, but it will still have that throatiness, especially going down the highway under high speeds or around town. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, this will be a part one. And then I'll do a part two after they're on and uh, maybe give it a week of being broke in, see how they sound. But, uh, gave me something to do. I was kind of bored today, so I wanted, wanted to uh, modify the truck a little bit more. But uh, before too long, I'll have the uh, video coming up uh, where I swap out my new leaf springs to the pickup. Um, but anyway... If you have any questions on this, feel free to ask. Hope you enjoyed the video.